In this module, I will explain what is goodwill impairment. Back to our example, Heinz acquisition of craft. Goodwill was the residual, what was left over after deducting assets and liabilities from the consideration paid. Note, there is a link between goodwill and consideration paid. The higher the consideration paid, the higher the goodwill. Let me illustrate this. If Heinz were to pay, say, $120 million for Kraft, goodwill increases to $45 million. On the other hand, if Heinz were to pay, say, $90 million for Kraft, goodwill decreases to $15 million. As you can see, there is a clear relationship between consideration paid or the value of the business and the amount of goodwill, which is the residual. The $100 million of consideration paid by Heinz at the time of acquisition was based on the future cash flows that Heinz expects to generate from Kraft. Now, what if immediately after the acquisition, there is a global pandemic which leads to a deep recession. And as a result, Heinz now expect to generate lower future cash flows from Kraft. Would Heinz still pay $100 million for Kraft? Of course not, due to the change in expectations and the fact that they expect to receive lower future cash flows from Kraft, they would determine the value of Kraft to be lower and let's say they would be willing to pay only $80 million for the business of Kraft. What will then be the goodwill? So instead of $100 million, Heinz values Kraft at $80 million and therefore only pay $80 million. Goodwill has decreased from $25 million to $5 million. Put simply, because of changes in expectations of Kraft's business and changes in Kraft's business value, goodwill has been impaired down from $25 million to $5 million.